decipher? Cut a cipher uh, is uh, rip and tear. So we're gonna get straight into this cutter, just to explain a few few moves and stuff like that. So to start off with with your right foot, just step it forwards um, into a hand, like a hands in cut to that type length, and then turn. As you turn, bring your left foot towards your right foot in high soaker dash, it's called high soaker dash. You've got your hand, right hand at the side, at your waist. The left hand is over the knuckles, facing towards the front. Your thumbs are tucked in, you've got your knees bent, and your elbows are tucked in. The second move, you look towards the front. You build this in five parts. You look towards the front, you pull back and twist on the second part. The third part is a, when the fist gets to the end, you step out into sheep latch, nice and low. The fourth part, the left hand comes up, over, Keisho cake using the palm, back it there, touches the elbow, when it touches the elbow, the elbow drops down by the waist, forward back fist, Ura Uchi. The left hand stays by the solar plexus. The right hand is parallel and in line with your body uh, and just the same level as your shoulder. The third move, we're gonna be stepping with the left leg round the front of the right leg, stepping forwards, and then the right leg joins the left leg in high soap dash. The left hand is closed, the right hand is just in front of the fist, over the knuckles, with the fingers open, facing forwards. As we did before, we look towards the front, so we'll do this in five stages again. We look towards the front, we pull the left hand back and twist in the second move. The third move, we step out into Shiki Dutch, drop nice and low. The fourth move, the right hand comes up. Teisho Uke, Kamil, block, down. The fifth move, as that touches the elbow, the elbow drops down by the waist. Four back fist, Uche. And then we do, as we did the first and second move, we do that again, we step. From with the right leg, we step it in front of the left leg. We make them join. Right hand closed, left hand is open with the, over the knuckles. You look towards the front, so you pull back and twist your right hand. As it gets to there, you step out into sheep catch again. The left hand comes over, past the face, down to the elbow, the elbow drops down strike, it comes back in nice and parallel. Right, so we've just done the sixth move. The seventh move, <clears throat> as we step in with the left leg towards the right leg, we step in and we drop the left hand down to there. We step right across into sort of like a keyboard action type move. As we step the left, uh, the right leg in and up, uh, raising the knee, this left hand is going to do a khaki uk, and my right hand from the closed fist is going to drop down just underneath my leg near my bum. So it, it comes up to there, that comes round, and that drops down. That move number seven. Move number eight. We look towards, the, so we should be looking on number seven, we should be looking that way as the knees up. We look towards the front, make it a front kick, step right across. This left hand is going to drop straight down, not coming round. There's variations of this kata where you'll go round with that and round with that, but it's not. This one takes the shortest route, so it's just going to drop down by the buttocks again. This one here is going to do khaki uke, so it's from down here, this one drops, and it comes round like that. Toes pulled back just by your knee. And we're looking towards the left hand side. The next move, number eight, we kick. 
We step all the way back into the cut snatch. We fire his arms out. Right hand on top of left. He needs then cut to that. Nice strong stance. From this point here, the next move, we grab, we pull back to the ribs, we fire out to the collarbones, double strike. Marotte Zuki. Yeah, to the collarbones. The left hand opens with the palm facing outwards. You do a circle. It meets at half past 12, yeah? Right down at the bottom. Tetsu strike, the right hand into the left hand. Yeah, make sure it goes straight into the hand. If you hit the thumb or any other part, you're gonna hurt yourself. Straight in the center of your hand. Whack, into there. Right, next move, you're gonna do a Mawate turn, which is the right leg is gonna step right over to the left hand side and we're facing 180 degrees. Go step right across. A pivot using the hip action, and I use right hand on top of left again, same as we did before in Zen Kutsudach. The hands closed, the pull back to the rib area, the strike, Morote Zuke, straight to the collarbones again. The right hand opens this time, so whatever leg is at the back, that's the hand that opens. The leg that's at the front stays closed. So this hand is going to do Tetsui into the right hand, striking in. The next move, as the right leg comes up, I'm going to pivot on my left leg, going clockwise. So from the right, I'm going to be turning the opposite way. And the right hand is going to come up, touch the left hand side of my neck, and all the way around, it's going to follow my neck and the elbow is going to go round the back of my head. So it does that, you spin round. As it comes down into sanction dash, the elbow just drops down and you hit somebody on top of the head using Tetsui. That's that bit of the hand. And you make sure that all the knuckles are facing the same way as your arm. So you've got to have a nice, strong, strong wrist as you do that. The arm pulls back to the side. The next move, or the next count, you open your hands, you pull it in, as you pull somebody's head down towards the side, and your elbow goes straight back, keep it nice and tucked in. The left hand comes out as a short punch, shitty short punch. The next move, left arm and left leg is going to go up anti clockwise. So I'm going to go around to the left. The left arm comes up, round, down, and key eye. Using the Tetsui strike. Open the hand, like we did before. Pull it in, keeping the elbow tucked in. Strike, this is the Shitazuki short punch, with the right hand. As we step forward in Sanchin Dach, with the right foot forward, we twist the right hand, and turn it over as the left hand closes. Just keep it there, elbow tucked right in. Now, using the hip, we just flip that hip forward, punching with the left hand side and bringing the right hand back. Next move. The, right, the left hand opens with the palm facing outwards, so the thumb pointing down. The thumb pointing down. The right foot from Sanchin Dach turns forward. So the heel just flicks in a little bit. You, turn, you step over that foot and you coil your body up nice and low. You turn, you get to the wards. The front of the dodo is if you're looking towards the front. This arm that's at the back comes through underneath the armpit with the palm facing upwards and you fire out as if you're grabbing somebody's head and you're nice and low. You reverse cat stance. Now what you do on the next count is the left leg slides back so the hips open up. As you close them, you slide your foot back. The arms come in. If you're holding something like a head or a ball, it goes underneath the armpit. As you come back, make sure your hand 
hits in, making sure that you're really tugging something back. Now, we're going to do part of a Mawashi UK, which is a round block. So, this right hand that's at the left shoulder comes down towards my right hip. The, the hand that's down here comes up towards my left shoulder. So it comes up, open-handed, to there. As we push away, we sink down low into that stance and then we pull in, you wait three seconds, you finish, heels together, hands by the side, you bow, left hand over right, step out, into hyperdatch, yoi, close your hands, put them out there, make sure your knees are nice and bent. That's Katasaifa, the little dojo, crazy blind man. Come